a hard balance match. Uh, so you'll see right here, <clears throat> this drill right here, guys, is just emphasizing. Um, it's an overemphasis of the point of attack um, of me coming to balance, and now I'm about to make contact on somebody. Okay, so uh, when we drill, we drill in progressions. We always drill big to small. We always drill big to small. Um, and, 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 and we try to overemphasize any kind of, uh, if something's going to take place, we just do it over and we emphasize what we're doing. But at, at, on this drill right here, Chris, I appreciate you. I, I can run it right here. I, I really appreciate it. Um, what we're doing is just coming to a hard balance. The stick is for our posture and our, and our body language. But you'll see, what I like is just coming to a hard balance of you being head up with a ball carrier and that ball carrier having the option to go left and right, and that is the posture, and those are the mechanics that I want to see right before you make that, co that contact. I mean, I want to see hips back. I want to see your, your knees glued. We'll talk about that. Um, uh, I want to see your hips drop. Um, and that stick right there, guys, is just to emphasize, really, and when we, re when we reduce the stick, when we leave the stick, I mean, you'll see us, we'll start clubbing through things, uh, but it's to get, get our chest on the ball carrier. So you'll see the drill, we just call this hard balance, we'll come to a stop and then we just match. Just real subtle, stop, and then we're just matching. And I'd like for the guy on the right to really come down and press a little bit more, but you see the guy on the left, he kind of matches right here. Emphasize right here, guys, do not cross, you know, your feet not crossing over. Uh, it's really important that your feet do not cross over um, uh, as you make that tackle. And then we'll come through, now we'll, now we'll create a little bit more space. So the question is, how do I reduce space? You know, we're always talking about the distance between you and that ball. Uh, you know, most good players are measured. Stop the film and just see how much space is between that ball and your defender. And measure those things over and over. Is a guy around the ball a lot? Is a guy away from the ball a lot? When you talk about defensive football and you're trying to shrink and reduce space, uh, what you're trying to do is get a collection of 11 guys as many guys in that pitch around the ball as much as you can. So when we have a lot of space between us and the ball carrier, we will sprint. We will sprint initially to reduce space, and then we'll go through the same mechanics of coming to a hard balance. Again, now, does every tackle in the game um, uh, look, you know, as pretty as this when we're coming to some hard, pretty balance? No. But these are the mechanics that over and over again, that if you do them over and over again, you'll see guys. And in a game, it may just be one, two, boom, boom, and then you're making a tackle. But you, got, you, have to, you have to widen your base. You've got to lower your hips. And you've got to know how to reduce space between you and that ball carrier. Coming to that hard balance, we'll stop. And then we're just emphasizing rolling our hips through the ball carrier. See, now right here, well, this, is all, this is all hips. This is like power clean. It's all you and your hips trying to come and explode and uncoil through a ball carrier. You understand? Because when we take the stick out of our back, now what you're going to see are arms, they're going to come and club through and pop through and roll through a ball carrier. 